Okay, there may have been a slight uh, start of a previous one just two minutes ago. The uh, app didn't act the way I expected it to. Um, so anyway, we're going to go, I think I'm going to walk up to the uh, McKinsey Art Gallery. I've done that before, but along uh, Albert. But once you get past a certain distance, you can do that sort of in the trees. It's not just alongside the road. This is later than usual because I uh, had a plumber at the house this morning fixing a plug drain. And I had some nonfiction work I had to get done, so I got all that out of the way. But now here I am, walking once more. get across Albert so maybe I'll go up here and do that and walk down by the uh, by the uh, Royal Saskatchewan Museum as I start down south along Albert on that side of the street. It had several non-fiction pieces I had to get done for a company I do some work for on a regular basis so I had to get that done this morning and then with the uh, well, I guess his collar is going to stick up. Just wearing a sweater today. It's about 11 degrees as I set out. One advantage of coming out in the afternoon, I guess. Quite a bit warmer. I have no idea who might find me live on a walk this time of day. I guess I've been out this time of day, maybe on a Saturday or Sunday, but usually on the weekdays I walk in the morning. It's the sunshine in here, hey? So last night I was using this phone to record other things. Uh, the Flip the Script that I've talked about that Regina Lyric Musical Theater is doing. Gender swapped Broadway tunes. I recorded my quartet yesterday, all four parts. <laughs> I blended it together, just the audio file last night, to see what it sounded like. Sounds pretty good. The harmony worked, and I didn't miss anything. It'll be interesting to see it when they put all the four video recordings together. So I'm singing a quartet with myself. And then my wife, oh, I'm going to get a lot of wind here. And my wife and I recorded our duet last night, and my daughter recorded her solo. So if you go to reginalyric.com, you can get tickets for that. Coming up in May. A lot of other performers too, but the Willett family is well represented. Well, not as warm as I thought when the wind's blowing in my face, which it always does around the old... This, uh office building on the corner really amplifies the wind on a windy day like today so I apologize for the wind noise <clears throat> so if you do happen to be watching live please drop me a note hopefully I can see it it's quite bright but hopefully I have to cross on this side of the street and then go back on that side in order to head south on Albert. I might actually walk along the angle there, right up to the Hotel Saskatchewan. Uh, Hotel Saskatchewan. Royal Saskatchewan Museum. Just to be different. A little out of the way, but I haven't been down that approach to the museum. Wait for this light, though. That's the cars go by. Ooh. Army of street sweepers over there. 
And that's the uh, Royal Saskatchewan Museum Kitty Corner to us there. It's a long life to wait at sometimes. You hit it too strong, but it's about to change. the other way. By the street sweepers there. I'll be on our street before long. I haven't seen the signs yet, but uh, I'll get there. Clean up all the dust and stuff from the, from the winter. Museum closed, of course, like everything else. But uh, nice approach to it here, which I have not walked along before. And of course, there'll be flower beds there once the spring continues. I thought there was a sidewalk going off to the way I wanted, and there is. Oh. Hello hares, snowshoe hares. And if they're mating or fighting, I suspect it's more mating behavior. Oh. Took them long enough to spook as I walked up. This way. So a bit out of the way there, but this will get us pointed in the right way down Albert. We'll have to go across the Albert Street Bridge. Noisy. Then we'll be able to uh, get slightly off Albert. It's a little bit like being off Broadway, I guess. Way off Broadway. <laughs> we'll go through the parking lot here. Always that faint hint of trees budding out everywhere now. They're not quite here yet, but there are signs of it. Did I finish talking about Redundant Lyric production? Maybe I did. Anyway, if you're interested, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can get tickets at reginalyric.com. Tune in for Flip the Script in May and see me and my wife and my daughter sing. We're actually quite good. Don't worry. <laughs> and I uh, really had a lot of fun doing what I'm doing. I think, uh, I think it'll be hilarious when you see it. It'll be hilarious even if you don't see it, just not to you. Okay, back to Albert Street now. Heading on the main part of the walk, south. This will take us past Speaker's Corner, which I've uh, pointed out before. You have to take a bit of a or do you? Maybe not from this direction. 
thought I might have to zig to get around and get back onto the bridge, but I think you can just walk around the, uh, just walk onto it from this direction. Again, if you happen to be watching on Facebook or YouTube, please leave a comment so I know you're there. I'll keep talking no matter what, so. So back to the Tangled Stars now, having got all that done. I do have a business phone call tonight with someone from Australia with a publisher down there. Not about my writing, but about something Shadow Pop Press might publish, so that'll be interesting. I'm not sure it makes sense for Shadow Pop Press, this particular project, but it was offered. So I'm gonna look into that. Oh, and there's Kickstarter news. I had to notice that uh, Kickstarter was uh, transferring the funds, so I will have those, and then and it's on to making a book. That's kind of already begun, because I'm getting stories in. If you're new to this walk, walk with Ed, walkie-talkie, uh, I ran a Kickstarter in March to fund Secrets of Worlds Volume 2, which is a... Uh, anthology of short science fiction and fantasy by authors who were guests during the second year of my podcast, my Aurora award-winning podcast, The World Shapers. Oh, the lake looks pretty today. Tomorrow is Walk Around the Lake Day. Friday is my traditional Walk Around the Lake Day. So I will walk around the lake tomorrow. I'll walk around the lake tomorrow. Get your bottom dollar, that's tomorrow. They'll be walking around the lake. Doesn't really fit very well. You can see by the flags that it's pretty breezy today. Very blue. No ice left out there now. Just last week when I walked around the lake there was snow and mist on the water and a skin of ice and it all looked very pretty. Not so much now. I mean, still looks pretty. No ice or snow except in the odd place where it was piled up during snow clearing. You can still see some. It's like the wind will be in my face when I walk home. But I'll probably do that through Lakeview, like I did the last time I walked down here. Lake, the pretty bridge there. This is the dam part. <laughs> this is the dam part of the lake. That's the dam that creates the lake that we just walked over. Most of this bridge is somewhat extraneous, which is why it's often called the longest bridge over the shortest body of water. Because right now, we're not actually bridging anything. As you can see, it's just dirt on the other side of the railing there. the terracotta balustrade and at each uh, one of these lamp posts you get this medallion of the bison okay. Now, I can stay on the sidewalk here, or I can go down and walk along the interior road, and I'm going to do that instead. Last time I walked on the sidewalk, for a ways. It's another very straight, boring sidewalk that goes to infinity, or so it appears. And it'll be less noisy if I go down here, so we'll go down here. scenic trip by the bathrooms. Into the woods. Into the woods and out of the woods. And home before dark. Home long before dark. Probably won't encounter any wolves, giants, or fairy tale characters. Probably. Not in these woods. And of 
course that's the ledge in front of us. Maybe I'll get a little more sky and a little less ground on my gimbal there. Haven't had any comments yet, so probably nobody's watching this live. Or maybe they only saw the 15 second one that started and then stopped again. <laughs> I found out yesterday that my YouTube video had been set on private, so I think I fixed that. I didn't remember setting it on private, but somehow it defaulted to private after being public, so I thought I was being public and I was actually being private. Then, of course, I posted the uh, permanent recording where there's no buffering, because I know there's buffering periodically every time I've watched the live stream. I see there's some. Sometimes it's quite bad. I see First World War Memorial over there on the other side. On the wrong side for that. But I have stopped there before and will again sometime, I'm sure. And we'll get a great view of the ledge here as we... Saskatchewan Legislative Building. As we come out of the trees, here you go. along along this way at least to start with as something else strikes my fancy Another view of the ledge flags fry, flying not frying <laughs> bravely in the breeze the marble palace as I've said before in my book Mage Bane written under the pseudonym the Arthur chain that's literally the King's Palace in my version of this terrain, there's a lake, the marble palace where the king lives on the south side of the lake. The bad guy lives in the Capel Valley. That sort of thing. I had fun with it. That's Mage Bane. Daw books written by Lee Arthur Chain. Middle names of my two older brothers. Jimmy Lee Willett. Dwight Arthur Willett. And then my name is Edward Chain, will it? C H A N E. That became the surname. Non operable fountain. Hopefully, it'll be operable later. I see quite a bit of green in the grass here. Government office buildings along here. Ground again. Let's go up a bit. That's better. Now it's pointing at the sky. Somewhere in the middle. Let's strike a happy medium. It's because the angle that I'm holding it at changes. See, now it's actually pointing over there, and I don't know why. 
It does that sometimes. I don't know why. It thinks it's smarter than I am. Maybe it is, but... I don't remember what, what this building is called. It has a name. It just has the address on it, though. 3085 Albert Street. Sure, it had a name. Probably still does. Oh, there it is. It's the Walter Scott building. So he was the premier of Saskatchewan when it became a province. And uh, I portrayed him, actually, for the Hill Company's Centennial a few years ago, both here and in Calgary. They hired me to do it here. I had fun with it, and uh, they liked it. So they flew me to Calgary and had me do it there, where I got to make fun of Alberta in front of then-premier Ralph, Ralph Klein. <laughs> so that was fun. I don't remember if the premier was on ours here. He might have been. Probably was. Probably Lauren Calvert then, I think. Whom I kind of knew. Just to, well enough that he knew who I was, anyway. Oh. I know, there he is, wandering off again. this way for a while past another government office building coming up I've been in all of these for one reason or another over the years this one used to be green now it's silver gray gray and silver don't know what it's called either I thought that was the Walter Scott building and I was right I don't remember what this one's called And then just past that is the McKinsey Art Gallery. Not just past, it's still a ways, but that's the next building after this one. And still no comments today. Nobody expects me to be on at this time of the day. Or they're doing, you know, making money and stuff like that. Ah, Lloyd Place it's called, after another premiere, I believe. Oh, unexpected dip for the wheelchair ramp there. Trying to decide where to go next. Keep going this way. That just goes into grass over across the parking lot there. It could be damp, so... I'll stick to the sidewalk. Don't think I'll go as far over as I did last time I walked down this way, which took me clear down past the Muscana Rehab over there. Save that for some other day. Maybe instead of going around behind it here, I'll go around in front of the McKinsey. I haven't really been around there with the camera. It's actually the TC Douglas building, another former premier. 
at him. So I played Walter Scott, don't know anything about Lloyd, and I met T.C. Douglas, because he was from Weyburn, and when I was still at the Weyburn Review, he came uh, to town once. He was not a politician anymore. And I took a picture of him opening the doors to Calvary Baptist Church, which was the church he preached in, in the Depression, when he started his career. He was a preacher, Baptist. And uh, that church building then was, after, sometime after that, was moved, and it's now up on uh, South Hill in Weyburn. Signal Hill, I guess, is the property. We all call it South Hill. And became the T.C. Douglas Cavalry Center Calvary Center, not Cavalry, it has nothing to do with horses, Center for the Performing Arts, which I performed in. So, if you get around, you can find connections to just about anything in Saskatchewan. Many places I haven't been, but many places I have. And many people have I met over the course of my career. So we'll walk up in front of it here. You can see what the I mean, uh, the sign up there says, as long as sun shines, river flows and the grass grows, which of course is a treaty reference. There's the front entrance. Probably no particular reason I couldn't go in sometime and browse the art gallery with a camera, but I don't know that for sure. <clears throat> uh, let's think here. Yeah, we'll just go down and then come back to Albert and go into Lakeview to walk home, I think, today. I'll keep walking along here, since I haven't really done that before with the camera. There's the front of the building. Has a nice prairie horizontaliness to it. Horizontaliness? I'm sure that's a word. I'm a writer. It must be a word. I wouldn't use a word that doesn't exist. I'm a writer. All right, just make it up like Shakespeare. Worked for him. We all use his made up words. There's a very funny show called Upstart Crow, British uh, BBC comedy. Um, you can get it on Amazon Prime. Some of the episodes, anyway. And uh, one of the main characters is Shakespeare. Writing his plays and stealing stuff left, right, and center from anything he can get his hands on to make his plays. It's very funny. I highly recommend it. Upstart Crow, which, of course, he was called. That's where the name comes from. Will I go up to this next sidewalk? Yeah, first time I walked down here, I came from behind and walked down those steps there, so. Still no comments today. Nobody's on Facebook. Nobody's on YouTube, or at least if they are, they don't want to talk to me. I'll try not to take it personally. Fascinating though I am. Oh, there's another hair. I don't think you'll be able to see it. It's running across the parking lot over there. He or she, I don't know. How can you tell with a hair without a very close enough personal inspection, which they probably wouldn't let you get away with. Condos ahead of us. All fairly recent. That used to be mostly empty space there. For some reason, somebody's over here blasting music out of their car. I don't know why. Parked there. Actually, they weren't parked. Now they're getting in the car. They were out of the car, so I really don't know what that's all about. Condo there. Okay, now we got a choice. I was thinking Lakeview. If I go that way, I'm moving further from home and it takes longer to get back. And I'm kind of late today, so I'll hit on this way. 
to one of my patented zigzags back through Lake View. To wherever that takes us. And then back home. Nice boulevard with the trees arching overhead. Be prettier, of course, when the trees have leaves. It's Regina Christian School over there. I've never been, well, maybe I have once. Can't be sure. I may have been in there once, but no more than that. Alice had a friend who went there, a good friend, who's also in the Jewish class Young People's Theater, like Alice. So once we get up here, we'll cross the street and see where the roads of Lakeview take us. Comes a jogger. See the McKinsey over there through the trees. here once before. I think last time I just kind of walked down Angus on the other side. This time we'll zigzag. I don't know. I am repeating myself, of course. I am repeating myself, of course. I am repeating myself, of course. As long as I'm walking close to home, there's going to be repetition. And every Friday I walk around the lake. I've decided. I've done it twice. That makes it a tradition. Tradition. Every Friday walk around the lake. This can never be changed. One of these days you pull out a prop and where does it stop? Where does it stop? Yes, I played Tevye once in Fiddler on the Roof. That was fun. I was too young. I'm maybe getting too old now, but I was definitely a little on the young side. For someone with grown daughters, I was, well, maybe not for the period in which it's set, but I, when I did it, I just turned 40. I think I turned 40? Maybe I turned, yeah, I turned 40 the year before. And then, right after doing Fiddler on the Roof, I got hired to do a tent meeting at the Rostern Station Art Center by Tibor Fahergezi, who was the artistic director at uh, Persephone Theater. And it was uh, Deb Buck, whom I most recently, she accompanied me for a couple of things in Saskatoon when I was right in residence up there. Uh, she played my wife in it and she kind of suggested me, which was nice. So that was a fun show because it was, uh, it's a show set in the depression, small town in Alberta. There's a farmer who's used to sing gospel, but he's sort of lost his faith what with his farm blowing away. And this uh, gospel quartet comes to town. And the leader of it, and the preacher part of it, used to be from their town, and then left. And was uh, friends with his wife, and has been in touch with him since. And the farmer's a little jealous about that, so there's that tension going on. But over the course of the show, the farmer rediscovers his love of gospel music. And of course, everything's double cast. So I played both a member of the quartet and the aforementioned farmer. Not everything's double cast. The quartet is double cast and townspeople. Uh, Deb, Buck, played just the wife. And uh, I can't remember the guy who played our preacher, but uh, he was not double cast. So I spent, oh, two months, I think, basically, in Rostern. Staying in a house that the people had uh, gone away for the summer and just made it available, which was very trusting of them, but we were good people. I was there and so was the stage manager, I think. And uh, yeah, it was great. Celebrated my birthday up there. And, and I loved the music kind of music I grew up on. I knew some of the songs, versions of them anyway, not all of them. 
And then a few years after that, I directed a production of it here for John Laird Musical Theater and reprised my role directing myself, which is a bit like being a, you know, a lawyer, lawyer who represents himself as a fool for a client. It may be that way with directing, but it was the easiest. So I got to do it all over again, which was fun. And it was because of that show that Tibor hired me to be in Who Has Seen the Wind at Persephone, my first show with Persephone Theater in Saskatoon, which was also great fun. And a few years later, well, he actually asked me to come to Rossler in the next year, but we were having a baby and I thought, I thought that was my priority, which just shows I'll, you know, didn't have what it took to really be a, make a career out of being an actor because an actor would never turn down a role just because their wife was having a baby. And indeed, Tibor never asked me again. And I've always suspected it's because I turned him down. Even though he told me I was a very good actor. He never asked me again. Not that I pursued it, either, what with young daughter. Although I did do a show in Estevan the following year, when she was turning one, or just after she was one, about the time she was learning to walk. That was in Surus Valley Theater in Estevan. That was directed by Jeff Pufall who had also directed The Fiddler on the Roof I was in. So, it all runs together. <laughs> Everything's connected. I think I did zigzag this way before, last time I came down this way, but that's okay. I could vary it. If I go to the left instead of the right, it'll change my pattern, so maybe I'll do that. You know, wouldn't want my loyal viewers who might actually remember this. There's a lot of these now. <laughs> Doing one every day, they add up. But if I go this way, it'll change the zigzag pattern slightly. Should see something new. And it's only a half block for some reason. Feeling quite lonely on this walk, not a single comment. If you're out there, drop me a note. Let me know I'm not just talking to myself or to future viewers. If you are a future viewer, what's it like in the future? I've always wondered. It's a, you know, near future, as they say in science fiction, a near future science fiction story. And yet, you know things as you're watching this that I don't know as I'm recording it. Isn't that cool? Oh, there's an older sort of ranch style house that's being renovated. It's the kind of houses we were used to in Texas when we moved up here. And then, like in the area I live, things tend to be tall and skinny. Oh, that's a nice one that's been redone at some point. And the one next to it, probably fairly new. Hard to say when that was built. Nice quiet street. Whatever it is, I didn't look. Don't really know where I am, except somewhere south of the river. And if I keep zigzagging that way, I will eventually reach home, or at least I'll reach the river. And then I'll find my way home. Out of the wind, anyway. Who has seen the wind? I haven't seen the wind, but I certainly felt it when it blows dust in my eyes when I'm wearing contacts, which happens at this time of the year quite a bit. I tried putting on sunglasses, but then I couldn't see the screen at all. <laughs> if anybody did, even though I wouldn't have a hope of seeing it, so I decided to risk it. Where are we? Oh, this is Robinson Street. Okay. end of Robinson Street. At the other end, Robinson Street, on the other side of the river, Robinson Street goes in front of the uh, Orange Cafe and Butcher Boy and the Gourmet, the Cheese Shop, and 
and uh, takeaway gourmet and lots of places where we park with uh, Safeway on the other side of the street. Doesn't really matter up here. Oh, some of the green space of which Regina has an abundance. It's not actually green at the moment, but they still call it green space. Most of the year it's white space. White space has a different meaning, of course. White space is something you do in page design. But <laughs> Here it's just, in the winter, the whole province is basically white space. Maybe that's why there's so many riders. <laughs> it's a shame nobody's watching this live because that was a really funny joke, at least in my head. Possibly not when it came out of my mouth. But we don't get to rehearse these. more dogs than birds down this stretch. religious in my zigzagging and see where that ends me up. I really don't have a clue. This actually looks like Argyle up here. That's because it angles. Oh yes, okay the house on my left. It's definitely Argyle. So I could just walk straight down it. How long have I been going here? Oh, that long already. Yeah, I think I will go straight down it. I keep zigzagging on the other side from here. Uh, that'll stretch things out. So, so just walk down Argyle now. What'll happen if I go over there is I'll end up sort of over where I did the big walk on Sunday, was it? Go to Sunday. That's what I could do, is zigzag back the other way now. Just to break up the monotony, because this is a fairly monotonous road. So maybe I'll do that. And there's always alleys, I don't walk down them very often. I'm surprised I've already gone 43 minutes. again here, possibly zig. See where this leads us. Generally winding our way home. But I think this is going to be over an hour. I thought it was going to be shorter than that. Long time to walk with nobody apparently watching. <laughs> if you are, leave me a note. I should see it. The light's not too bad. Sweet for rent if you're looking for a place. Or 
more sweets for rent. Yeah, I've been been in this area before. As I said, you can't help but repeat yourself. That's the school. Presumably French immersion. Presumably separate school. Since it's a call is St. Pius the tenth. How do you say that in French? <laughs> Dizium, maybe? Doesn't really sound like it. Probably not. And I've walked down by this uh, church that's coming up here before, too. I don't doubt to do so again. There's the school. Never been in that one. Been in a lot of them, not that one. And the church, I've come up from the other side of it on a previous walk. I haven't been in it either. One of the major roads up there, probably hill, would have to be hill. King. Or if it's there, it actually goes on quite a ways here. Nice fellowship hall, I would think, down here. Parish hall, even. Another bunny rabbit snowshoe here. They're everywhere. Unlike people watching the live stream, who apparently don't exist today. If you live stream a walk and nobody watches, does it make a sound or a picture? A philosophical question to ponder. Yeah, this is Hill. Cross over and continue our zigzag. I know how this will lead me home here. Probably end up going down the bridge again. Unless I decide to stretch it out a little. So this is Hill. Next up, looks like Cameron, which is actually the street that the footbridge is on. So maybe I'll quit zigzagging here and just walk down Cameron to get to the footbridge. Probably, definitely the most efficient way to go now. And this is pushing an hour, so longer walk than I anticipated in my head. Usually I figured out pretty close, but I was surprised when I looked and saw I was already at 44 minutes a few minutes ago. So we'll just go down camera in here, which will take us directly to the footbridge. Leftover Chinese food for lunch. Feeling that a little bit. A little bigger lunch than I normally have and I don't normally walk right after eating lunch, so. I feel a little heavier. 
than I normally do in these walks. House for sale. Oof. Another unexpected dip. One, two, three, dip. over there. Fairly new. Designed to fit into the neighborhood. Actually, I guess the one next to it is new, too. And the one next to it. I would say that one might be renovated. I suppose that one could be, too. But I think that first one is definitely new. I really must pay attention to where the driveways are because that dip keeps catching me by surprise. Twenty first Avenue. Been quite the lonesome walk with absolutely nobody leaving a comment. It's unusual just to get at least one, even if they literally just pop in and say hi and then go on about their business. But you never know when I look at the YouTube statistics. I'm sometimes surprised to find that three or four people were watching at any given time. They just didn't say anything. I have a cool modern one over there. Yeah, I don't mind that one. Be interesting to see inside. You know, without going up to the window and putting my camera up to it, I think they probably found on that. And I could live stream my own arrest, so that would be exciting. Might go viral. This will take us right by Lake View School. So I've walked down here before. Big one going up over there. Lots of windows. Look at those windows. Good grief. That's a lot of glass. That's almost the people who live in glass houses kind of glass. Hope they have good blinds or they have no sense of privacy, one or the other. house for an exhibitionist. Now yeah, that's gonna, gonna take a lot of blinds. Oh, interesting too. I guess that's the garage. It's probably gonna be down here underneath the overhang. Interesting layout. Oh. Two guys up a pole. That's an interesting house too, with the windows on that side. Very odd. I don't quite know what to make of that. And here's Lakeview United School. United School. Lakeview United Church. A little bit back there. Lakeview School here. One of the old schools built early 20th century. In the teens, I think. I don't think it's the 20s. I think it's older than that. I've rarely been in it, maybe once, maybe twice. So I don't have a good idea of what it looks like inside. <laughs> Davin School, where my daughter went, which I've shown before, and behind our house, was built in 1926. Same year as our house, and by the same architect, which is kind of cool. I'd like to have words with that architect about a feature on the front of the house. We have two dormer windows that form a V 
and uh, you know it's supposed to be like a decorative beam that comes out there but it's long since rotted away because that V shape as he should have known it would creates this enormous icicle in fact after the last big snow which then immediately melted but it was also freezing we had these huge icicles and that formed a huge one there and when it let go it hit the it hit the roof quite hard so i don't think it did any damage but it could have and that all goes back to the architect's original notion that having those windows meet in a sharp v on the front of the house would look cool and I don't object to it aesthetically, but I hate that icicle. And there's just nothing you can do about it, short of changing the roof line. We had a terrible water problem until we redid the roof a few years ago. There was one winter, well, we'd had some guys do the roof and they'd actually really screwed it up and they were directing water into the house in places. So we had water dripping in our living room all over Christmas. A big tub set out to catch it. So that was fun. But since we have the new roof that we put on after that, we haven't had any leakage at all. Knock wood, which I would. I might get a splinter. <laughs> Fence isn't paved. Okay, here we are. I think I'll walk along the dike down to the uh, Angus steps down. I don't take that very often. That'll be a different, slightly different approach. You know, if anybody's watching, not a single comment today. I feel quite neglected. the light because there's quite a bit of traffic coming. All right, over the footbridge. No water. There's ducks though. No ice, I should say. Definitely thin ice. No ice, no ice left on the creek. But ducks down there, you can see, it's always waterfowl. Take the dike. Oh, you take the high dike and I'll take the low dike and I'll be home before you. Me and my true love will never meet again on the bonny bonny banks of Waskan. Except at the footbridge, you'd meet. Or the Elphinstone Bridge, or the Pasqua Bridge, or the Louvain Bridge or the Albert Street Bridge, or the, or the Broad Street Bridge. Actually, quite a few bridges you might meet at should you take opposite sides of Wascana Creek. Harder in Saskatoon if you took opposite sides of South Saskatchewan River. Fewer bridges, a much deeper river, much deeper valley. So instead of going down here, we'll go on to the last stairs. Further down. Look at the creek over there.
running out of time to leave me a comment if you've been watching all this time. Now's the time. here. Of course, there's the Albert Street Bridge. That's the actual bridge part. All the rest of that we walked along is just for show. <laughs> oh, and I suppose there's a certain amount of dip that it uh, takes care of on the road. But you don't need that much bridge for this much creek, but it's part of our heritage here in Regina. Over there is the, like the low dike, the berm over there is flood control as well. As is this dike. As I mentioned before, back in the late 70s, I think, there was a really nasty flood on this side of the river. And I have seen that park over there flooded. This year, we didn't get that kind of runoff. I think this is the house I've mentioned before. I mentioned over there where the museum, where we started was, or Saskatchewan Museum. There was supposed to be a big railway hotel at one time. And they started to build it and they put up the steel and then there was a bust and it didn't happen. But uh, this house here, which I can't see behind the trees, but I'll show you in a minute, used some of the materials because of who owned it used some of the materials that were actually intended for that hotel to build. So it's this, I'm sure it's this one, this pink one here in the corner has some of that old hotel's building materials in it. Stone and beams, I would imagine. Pretty sure it's that one. It's in my book. The one I keep referencing but don't actually remember very well. <laughs> I like this brick house up here in the corner. It actually has uh, stone lions on the stairs. Which anybody who likes libraries would appreciate. Maybe I'll go down it, this road, back through Italic. And uh, that way I can end at my traditional ending spot, the stop sign. So here's the of that house. I gotta cross the street anyway, so we'll do that. You can see it there with the stone lions on the front. Yeah, walked longer than an hour. I really didn't expect this to be that long. So clearly any time oh let's go down the alley. alleys offer a different view. Mostly fences, garbage bins, recycling bins, and garages, but still a different view. That's Leopold Crescent in front of us, I believe. This I'm completely turned around. I actually are already at Angus. You'd think I'd know. Those are not Angus houses, so it must be Leopold. <clears throat> oh, we got a choice. Let's go. We'll go this way instead of going through the, uh, according to my traditional stop sign, we'll go down the another alley. The one I walked going in the opposite direction when I walked around the lake. As I will be doing tomorrow, if you wish to join me. That'll probably be in the morning again. 
around eight o'clock my time, a little after. So when I'll do that to start the day, <clears throat> rather than doing good in the afternoon like today, full of Chinese food. Oh well, maybe I burned some of it off. Oh, I find I'm pointing at the ground more. Probably my arm getting tired. That's Dab in School, dead ahead where my daughter went that I mentioned, and have many times before. Oop. Got a low battery warning. Now why would that be? It should have been. Did I have it on without... Huh. Should, shouldn't be getting a low battery yet, even though it does eat a lot of battery doing these, and by evening I get low battery warnings, but it must not have charged properly at some point. Anyway, that's the first warning. It's not going to run out in the next three minutes, which is how close we are to home. And not a single person said hi today. Nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. I'm going to go out in the garden and eat worms. If you're of a certain age, you recognize that from a children's book. I don't remember anything else about the book, but I remember that phrase. Maybe next week I'll drive over to the Center of the Arts and start from there and walk up and around the university. That would be different and interesting. Okay, well, this is my street. I have often walked down this street before, but the pavement always stayed beneath my feet before. Ah, thank you, whenever you're watching this, if you happen to have watched it live, thanks for coming with me. And if you're watching the recording, thanks for doing that. I'll be back tomorrow.